So now Thank we have the ten dollar gimmicks, baby. Ooh, yes, gimmicks. sir. You want me to kick it off this Ooh, time? Uh, you can if you want to. I, I, I'll spin do the you. wheel, make a deal, and we can just. <laughs> you got a fucking wheel on you? <laughs> I do. No, let me just. Let me... Do, you? do you? I do have a wheel. Like right, right behind you. I, like... It's right over here. I do. All right. <laughs> you, maybe we can figure out something to do with the wheel with the $10 tier or something. Oh, yeah. yeah I Whoever gets it is, can't listen anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoever I you must spin the name on, I get your name wrong. Yeah. Or, or we could, that's the gimmick. We can all, like, you can spin it, and then that one person will eat, all three of us will come up with the gimmick together for them. <laughs> yeah, actually, if we spin the wheel and it lands on your name, you have to do the gimmick for the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hundred percent chance it. for you to do the game. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I had Patrick Ketza. I Ooh. gave him the gimmick Cowboy King Patrick Stanza. His finisher is Ooh. the Yeehaw Driver, and it's yeah. a Tiger Driver. And his backstory is Don't tell me down, down by the cause saloon down, <laughs> down there, give it out, huh? Yeehaw down at the saloon down. Pro wrestling guy. <laughs> is he the dude from Adam Sandler movie? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He's a cowboy king, baby. I don't know. Run, I just, I feel, I feel like I missed like at least two words there. Can you just run that back real quick? Uh, uh, yeah, skip down town by the saloon downtown with our rodeo show and our pro wrestling. So yeah, okay, I got it now. Yeah, you got that down. Okay, I, yeah, right. yeah, I Patrick Stanza. Missed, I missed salute. Cowboy King. Yes, yeah. Cowboy King. All so right. he's Blake Clark from the Adam Sandler movies, by the way. Who the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> the mumble dude, the mumble guy. Oh, Sorry, is that uh, his name? I just knew him as the mumble guy. You could just told me the mumble that's guy. Right, yeah. <laughs> and he was also in Boy Meets World with Vader. So there's that. Uh, was he? I'll uh, I'll, I'll go next. Yeah. Um. So I mean, we we had some talk about this before. Since Deadlock is going to be an actual, you know, wrestling company, I feel God, like that sounds terrible, but I love it. We, sh I mean, we I feel like we should start building the foundation of this of this uh, federation, and the the foundation of any good company is is in its stables. In its Don't tell me you named them the foundation. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you know, I mean, the other week Pulse, uh, of course, <laughs> made the Gay Brood, which is <laughs> yeah, that's a true. mainstay, a Eight mainstay of Deadlock. Level. Eight so they they need eight people. In that group. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was four. That was an eight person week, wasn't they it? Keep multiplying. Yeah. Wow, that was yeah. pretty crazy. The, the notorious gay brood. Uh, so they I, they got some competition now. Introducing the pansexual corporation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they got some competition here now. I mean, they're just they're just regular corporation. Just happen to be pansexual. Nothing to worry. But about. I like that we're covering. Yeah, this yeah. is nice. Yeah, Inclusive. you gotta you know, you can't just make like gay it. everything. You know, that's I mean, true. If Don't everyone's gay, then nobody's gay. Gay right. sports entertainment extreme couldn't do that this yeah. week. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next week. Now you're killing maybe, biz by giving away the secrets. Maybe next week. Oh, can I just give away one of your gimmicks? <laughs> what are you doing, Jim? No, that was supposed to. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's got to rewrite. That was the $20 tier stuff, man. <laughs> so, I'm going to start off with the leader of the Pansexual Corporation, which is uh, Patreon member Zack Saber Sr., whose uh, name in this business is Pete Dickhead. Pete Ooh. Dickhead, the leader of the Pansexual Corporation, owns 4.50% stake in Amazon, making him a filthy, rich bastard. Looking to dip Ooh. his whole hog into the pro wrestling world. Yeah, I know. I know. No one likes that. Capitalism. No one likes Amazon. Ooh. Ooh. He thought there was no better place than to begin his uh, trek in pro wrestling than Deadlock, where, similar to nice. Amazon, he's looking to get some skin in the game where, before it becomes a multi-gajillion dollar company. <laughs> we have no money, by the way. You made a terrible decision. <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> Maybe Pete Dickhead can help. Yeah, help out. <laughs> Pete doesn't often get into the ring because so much because he has so much money to spend getting his goons to do the dirty work for him. But when he does, he often uses dirty tactics like eye rakes and ball claws and Ooh. ass punches. And he also thinks Pulse is a bitch. <gasps> wow, what Whoa. the? All right, bro, I'm getting gay brood on him. Then you don't make him. Yeah, it's got <laughs> Faction warfare has I begun. Gang warfare has begun. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> we'll find uh, the. Uh, I will be introducing other members of the Pansexual Corporation on my next turn. So Tony, it is your turn. Uh oh, you want to? Uh, yeah, 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 we got it. I'm not gonna run through all mine. Yeah, it's build up, baby. Ooh, you got you got that gimmick going on. All right, so <laughs> I got Darag Freeman, I believe. D a r a g h. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Maybe. You, you tell me. I think so. Sure, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> James can be the only one screwing up names. That's true. That's all, right. all I do. Yeah, so he's going by the name Doctor Hammer. Is his name? Oh hell yeah, big man. Is he a real doctor? 
what what is he a doctor what does he even practice does he know anything about medicine we don't know but he does come down to the ring with his signature mallet he calls get this the hammer whoa oh, wow Vince oh, five playing. foot 400 pound mallet is always in his corner in his matches how tall is he he's four foot one <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Oh fuck. That's crazy. When the match doesn't go his way and it looks like he's gonna lose, he brings out the hammer and bang, it's over. Mm. First he delivers a shot to the groin, right to the oh. balls. Uh. Brings them down on their knees and boom, a golf swing and sends his opponent's head into the fourth row. Damn. Because he kills people? as we all know. Wait, yeah, wait, that? Oh it, fuck. Because <laughs> as we all know, if your opponent's headless, they can't win the match. Dude, I don't know if Pete Dickhead will invest if we're killing yeah, people still. That's... No, he's not a part of Deadlock. He's going to Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah, as long as he's not a part of Deadlock. I mean, he's good. trying to be. Yeah, you go Bring away. one of his pansexual of... corporation. He's a part of CZW. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, I don't know if they can afford that either. <laughs> brr, brr, brr. <laughs> they spell his name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pete Duckhead. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> all, right. all right. Yeah, all right. So okay. I had uh, possibly Joe. His gimmick oh. is always joking. Uh, his finish. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like joking is a, a real good. Uh, and he's the funny man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell the story. <laughs> his right. finisher is the last laugh, and it is <laughs> a mouse trapped in, uh, like oh. like the Orange Cassidy. Yeah. And his backstory is he make the funny, and people laugh at the joke <laughs> that he makes. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck. <laughs> I am sorry. He said, I apologize let for me James. finish his gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> so you make the laugh and everybody joking funny at the jokes that Joe King make. His entering yes. style is best explained as a good time, but not Whoa. so much for his opponents who can't ah. seem to catch on until everyone's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Always joking. <laughs> wow. Yes. Always joking. joking. <laughs> that boy. You know, it's just for now popping over the cold with the point on that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to get started. <laughs> All right. Well, up next, the hired gun of the Pansexual Corporation. Uh, Patreon user Baron Corbin Goon Ichiban. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but his wrestling name is Louis Maritato. Pete Dickhead's hired gun. Nice. Nonetheless. Louis is the third cousin twice removed of ECW legend Little Guido, who is also known as that WWE ECW referee that got fired for fucking up a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> But, much like little Guido, he has many ties to the mob. Louis grew up on the mean streaks of Chicotagua, New York. Oh, <laughs> where, <really? laughs> where he eventually started his... <laughs> where he eventually started his own ice cream parlor. <laughs> and it was called Cool. <laughs> When you step into a shop, you're either looking for a nice treat, an ass beating, or him for the fuck you mutter. Oh, <laughs> if you now, step into the square go. circle, though, with Louie, you better watch out for his finisher, the double scoop dominator, where he hits you with two deadlift dominators in a row. That's sick. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty nasty. He's a nasty man. He's a tough dude. chick <laughs> 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 All right, Tony. We had Adam Butler. Ooh. I won't Tell me about him. Adam the Butler. That's the gimmick. <laughs> Damn. He likes butt. <laughs> he likes butt. Not, not butt with two T's. One. Oh. B. Sorry. He is horny. I didn't pick the ass up. My bad. He, he's Billy Gunn. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to He does the sir. He likes to fuck him. <laughs> he likes to kick him. <laughs> he wants to stick him. I love this guy. Go on. I wish. Adam the Butler was supposed to accompany Ted DiBiase to the ring. However, Virgil took his job. Whoa. It was a tryout in front of Vince McMahon, Adam, and Virgil to see who could kiss ass better. Turns out Virgil <laughs> just was a little bit better. Don't worry, though. He still found work on the independent scene. He would come in the ring with a tux on, obviously, carrying a bottle of champagne. He would leave the champagne in the corner, and he would take his gloves off and slap his opponent in the face. His finisher was, was the Fat Pocket DDT, which is an even flow DDT. And after that, he would pin the opponent, grab the tights, and put his feet on the ropes because, you know what? He paid off the referee every match. Adam the Butler sounds like a real bitch. 
He's gonna, he's gonna kiss. He's gonna <laughs> kiss. I thought you said it was a competition between him, Virgil, and Vince. <laughs> no. Who could kiss the most ass. Vince just got in no. there and started doing it too. <laughs> Vince, I'll show you how to die. <laughs> in front of Vince McMahon, Ted, it was a competition. Let me say it. Vince oh, said, Ooh. <laughs> Vince walked up and said, Bunghole. <laughs> Whoa. And his right. brother died. <laughs> oh, nice, <laughs> dude. It. That God. really gives him some good story. His poor family. <laughs> the storytelling is immense. All right, nah, his man. brother didn't die. I go? Time, oh, good. Okay, that's good. That's you. All right, that boy Grizzy. His gimmick is Grizzle Jimmy 2x4. His finisher is Bootstrap. It's a big boot. And his backstory Ooh. is, after living in the woods for most of his life, fiending for his fucking life out here, with nothing more than a bow and arrow he made out of sticks and shit, Grizzled Jimmy 2x4 <laughs> found himself in a wrestling <laughs> ring at a traveling circus that came by his neck in the woods when he was butt-ass oh. naked in the woods, oh, making Jesus. stuff with his hands. He's oh, barbaric, God. and he throws his weight Jesus. around, he's got a size 15 shoe, but he's never worn shoes before, so now he's got <laughs> shoes, and he's going crazy. <laughs> he got the big boot. What the he, fuck? He wears a size 15 shoe, and he's never worn shoes before. <laughs> His storytelling is immense. <laughs> Holy shit. He was butt ass naked. Yeah, he's going crazy out here, bro. What's his name? Uh Grizzle Jimmy two by four. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's what the boys Holy called shit. his winner. That's it crazy. <laughs> oh, yo. Uh, now it all comes out. I knew it. I knew there and was something His suspicious. brother died. And his brother. Yeah. Had his, a no, dick his brother's too. actually okay. Yeah, his brother's actually all right. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it's better well, now, with the shoe. I'll be talking about <clears throat> one member of a tag team that's a part of Pansexual Corporation. Uh, that tag team is called Brick and Mortar. And this is the story of Zen Smith who wrestles as Clay Brick. Clay Brick <laughs> comes from an honest, wholesome family. This sucks. Clay's father owned a bookstore in downtown Chicago for many, many years until one day a riot broke out on the block and his father died. <laughs> oh my god, he's the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since then, Clay has been doing his best to not only keep the business running, but working on becoming one of the toughest nerd ass nerds to ever step into a nerd fight. Nerd ass nerd. A I true expert at kickboxing, Clay Brick dev uh, devastates his opponents with a fast paced kicks and strikes. <laughs> his finisher is the Chapter 11, which is a flying oh, no! to the back of his opponent's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Clay Brick. Oh. Mm. His poor mm. father. Yeah. Big Clay Brick. I lost it. <laughs> All right, Tony. What you I have KLR underscore 24. Okay. He is handsome Harry Hardwood from Hollywood, <laughs> oh, California. <laughs> oh, he's good looking. Oh, no, I mean, just look at him. Mm. <laughs> he's tall. He's thin. He's jacked right. like a stallion. Right. He's so hot. I can't even tell you how gorgeous he is. Ooh, he's sick. the most handsome man on the planet. He's winning yeah. multiple Mr. Universe competitions. Is that like Nice. Uh, ooh, mm, mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone said he wouldn't get. Everyone said he wouldn't get up. What did I even write? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> everyone said this? they're gonna take it all down to the. Hey, I agree. I salute. Uh, uh, I said he's good looking. Oh, everyone said he wouldn't. All right. So uh, everyone said he wouldn't get by on his good looks alone, but he's proven them all wrong. Handsome Harry Hardwood uses a fisherman suplex as a finisher, and he calls it "Damn, I look so good." <laughs> That's a sexy bitch. Got it. This is. is the suplex with the fish. That's it. <laughs> and they call his it, mother died. They, oh, call it the, they call it the perfect plex. <laughs> and he doesn't wear shoes. That's his and, <laughs> oh, and shit. He, and he lives damn. in the woods. Whoa. And, damn, this guy's taking. He's got a lot of gimmicks. Man, this guy's got a lot going on. Yeah, it's like Cesaro. I wish I knew about him first. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> and he's in a corporation. Oh, oh my shit. goodness! He Damn, he's in a corporation. He owned too. a company in the Chicago downtown area. That's crazy. <laughs> and, and he hates my <laughs> And he eats lasagna. And he's Garfield the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, Pulse, it's your turn. <laughs> Sister died too. <laughs> and a volcano. Oh, no. And then he oh. did the stunner. <laughs> and he's from in tribute. <laughs> Red Hot Sean Texas. <laughs> With three X's. Red Hot Sean Garfield. <laughs> he, he was bald. He was bald. And he was and hungry. He had his oh, yes. 
yes. <laughs> and, and, he, <laughs> and then we called him Kayak. <laughs> No way this part's making it to the fucking... <laughs> you can't... You gotta cut all this. This is why people want to get it. Oh! Uh. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm I made it past midnight, guys. I think I'll be here for the full podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, all right, so... It's your turn. I can't imagine uh, the fuck is uh, This one is... I mean, or whatever. Alright. So, uh, I had James Ow. Matone. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sounds about right. James! James Matone. This gimmick is James Fujita. His oh, finisher is the look. He looks at you, and his backstory <laughs> is he's bald, and he looks at you, and he, he eats hands. <laughs> <laughs> and then he shoot kicks you in the head. Soccer kicks the fuck out of you. <laughs> and then he loses. <laughs> cool. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Is that really what you gave him? Bone apple <laughs> Is that really what you gave him? I hate it here. This poor guy. All right, Nick. Can I go next? You can finish no. out the gimmicks at the end, I'll, the, I'll, the faction at the end. Okay, that's fine. I want to close it out with your faction. Mine's not that hot, but that's cool. Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, I can go ahead. Go. But I was saying you could do your faction. Yeah, at yeah the it's end. fine. All right, so we got JV Goddamn T is his, uh, is his oh, username. Oh, okay. He's going by Jerry Booby, <laughs> and he does a full Nelson <laughs> as his finisher. Just the full Nelson. <laughs> boobler, boobler. <laughs> Getting bullied isn't easy, especially when your name is Jerry Booby. <laughs> And the second you titties. beat up, <laughs> <laughs> jokes him. <laughs> Listen, come on, I gotta do this. He's bald and he stands with people. And he needs a sanitizer. <laughs> getting bullied, getting bullied isn't easy, especially when your name is Jerry Abubi, also known as Jerry Titty. Nice, hell in yeah. In the second grade, he was beat up. In the fourth grade, he got wedgies daily. Come oh, junior no. high, he got stuffed in lockers. That's when stabbed. Jerry decided that enough was enough and it was time for a change. He decided that he'd start hanging out with the jocks. He started oh. lifting massive amounts of weights, took steroids and HGH and... Whew, steroids and jacked. HGH, crazy. Jesus, God damn. <laughs> lifting weights, protein powder, and putting on muscle was the only thing on his mind doing this. He ran into a few local indie workers in his hometown, Planet Fitness. That's where he he went, you know. No, <laughs> no, no lunkheads. No lunkheads, you know. Yeah, he's a little uh, baby, once, man. <laughs> once he learned how to work, he came back to school Fuck and beat you. up everyone. He beat up everyone that made fun of him. <laughs> he went to Planet Fitness, and then everybody beat his ass for going to Planet Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> he got bullied all over. <laughs> he can't stop getting bullied. All right, all right, all right let me get through this. All Gerald right? Ariola. <laughs> 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 I hate this place. Go on. He had become the very thing he hated. He became a bully. Yes. Bully, bully Jerry Booby made his debut on Monday Night Raw Storytel with a sneak attack on John Cena. He put John Cena full Nelson until he passed out. Then he gave him a Chris massive Master? wedgie, hanging him by his underwear on the turnbuckle. Just a masterpiece. <laughs> the masterpiece. In no, here? no, 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 oh, okay, no. Okay. He gave him the wedgie. On the turnbuckle post and left. Uh, damn, the that's crazy. The entire arena laughed at Cena. Cena was so upset that he started crying and he retired from wrestling altogether. Whoa! <laughs> and then the Jeremy fuck? Titty Boy gave the double little fingers in the Stone Cold Stunner. <laughs> <laughs> he loved the power. He loved the power that this gave him. After every match, he'd give his opponent a wedgie, and he continues to wrestle to this day. Is he a face? Oh, he had no—he had no penance or anything. He's just a bully now. He's just, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say this is, this is he not bully, a feel-good story. No, the story it's not. is you go oh, die. God. Hell yeah! Damn. No, no, he—he—he he, he got bullied, so he became a bully, and then ah, yes. he Damn. gave people super wedgies on the turnbuckle post. James Milkers. <laughs> yes, sweet titties, a friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finally, the last Action. member of the Pansexual Corporation, one half of Brick and Mortar. None other than Arnold Mortar, who is uh, Aiden on the Patreon. He is one of the slickest talkers in not only the wrestling business, but the business that he runs. 
a car dealership. Nice. One thousand dollars down on a twenty thousand dollar a week guarantee. Pete Dickhead Holy. books Arnold and his partner Clay every week to do his bidding and takes out anyone he needs. No one can blow out the competition like Arnold, who is quick with his words, but even quicker with his grappling skills. He can turn you in a pretzel before you can even consider tapping out. His finisher is the MSRP, which stands for Mega Submission Rib Pain, <laughs> which is an abdominal stretch. Nice. There you go. All right. Well, wow. Those are the gimmicks. <clears throat> yeah, fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least put some thought into mine. James is like, I fucking he's... had a. I put no, the whole you good, you good, you good, you good, you good. <laughs> You good? I'm talking about Jake. <laughs> and his mother died. And I cannot that believe cow- I'm being that attacked. Cow- hot. Yeah, I cannot cow- believe I'm being attacked for Herger, joking. Herger. And <laughs> well, I mean, that one rules. That's my favorite he one. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> he stares at him. Yeah, what the hell is wrong with that? They just wow. brought so him. Yeah, for only on ten dollars, <laughs> you can. Have you too your, can. Your eat hand sanitizer. <laughs> 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 Tell James spins the wheel and you have to make all the gimmicks. Yeah, that's oh, on you. Yeah, yeah, you gotta come up, yeah the, the wheel is coming into play yeah. next week. I think yeah. we got to do something. Yeah, like that. for sure. 